Hello little artist, I'm Mariana Olson and today we're drawing a Canadian beaver. Are you ready? Let's do this. Okay, we're gonna need paper, something to color with I'm using markers and something to draw with. I will use a black marker that you can change for a pencil. Okay, little artist, we're gonna start this picture of a Canadian beaver. This was a request for my nephew Jackson from Canada, so we're gonna draw this for him. Let's start with the nose and we're gonna do a little curve here in the center, a little bit up on the paper, and we're gonna go with a curve. And now we're gonna do a triangle shape underneath. So that's the nose. Now let's do the mouth. And we're gonna do two letter U's underneath. So we're gonna do one to the left and one to the right. We're gonna put the eyes a little bit up and we're gonna start with two lines, one and two. And on top of these lines, I'm gonna draw the eyes with an oval shape. So it's gonna go one and two. And we can color these ovals with black. Then we're gonna do the teeth and these are gonna be big ones. So we're gonna do here in the middle of the letter U's we did. So we're gonna do a square shape. And in the middle, we're just gonna put a line. So that's the face of the beaver. Now, this beaver is wearing a, a Canadian hat, like the Mountie hat, and on top of the eye. So I'm gonna do a line They go across and I stop right there. So I'm just passing the eyes in each side a little bit. Now next to the eyes, we're gonna leave a space and we're gonna do a curve. Then I leave a space and I do a curve. And now we're gonna do his cheeks. So the cheeks are gonna come around and connect with the teeth. And it's gonna look like this. Around and connect. And in the other side, the same. Around and connect. Before we finish the hat, we're gonna go and continue a little bit with the body. And so I'm gonna do a line that goes down a little bit doing a curve. And in the other side, the curve goes a little bit to the right. So it looks like this, kind of like a diagonal line. Next, we're gonna do his back and we're gonna go a little bit diagonal and coming down. And I wanna extend this one going down for the bottom. Next here, we're gonna do the tail and I'm gonna do a little curve and a little curve in each side. And then we're gonna do kind of like a big letter U, okay? And it's gonna look like this, big letter U and come back. Now in this side, we're gonna do a line that comes down and he's gonna have a big tummy. So we're gonna go down like this in a angle way. And then we're gonna go curvy. So we're gonna go around and we're gonna stop right here to leave a space for his leg. So the leg is gonna come around and it's do a curved line that goes like this. And now we can close the tummy. And for his feet, we're just gonna go with a little curve and out. And the little fingers are gonna be three letter U's. One, two, and three. In this side, we're just gonna do a little bit of the leg and from this corner from where we start the curve, we're gonna go down again. And here's where we're gonna do the feet. So we're gonna repeat the steps with a curve and then it goes to the right. And here, I wanna do a little line and now let's connect with the three fingers. One, two, and three. Now up here, we're gonna do a little hand, kinda like a backwards letter L. That's the sleeve. And from here, his hand is gonna stick out. A curve. Now, another one. And here we're gonna do a little thumb with a U shape. And now we're gonna close it with a curve. Now he's wearing a t-shirt. So we're gonna mark the t-shirt doing a line that goes across to the other side and connects. Now in this hand, he's gonna be holding a flag. So let's finish this leaf first, closing here. And now we're gonna do kind of like a letter J and it's gonna go like this, letter J. Now we're gonna leave a space and we're gonna do for his hand kind of like a letter C. 
And in this space that I have left, I want to do a little square. It's kind of like a rectangle shape. This is going to be for the flag. Okay. Now let's close this curve down here. And here we're just going to connect with a curve too. Now I'm going to continue the lines of this square I did here. I want to imagine that this line goes in behind the hand and goes up and it's passing really close to the hat. That's okay. Okay. Just make sure that you don't cross those lines. And then we're going to go up again and we're going to finish up here with a little circle. Now let's do the flag and the flag is going to be a wavy line that goes to the right. So I'm going to go up, down and up again. And this side, I'm going to do a little differently. We're going to go to the right, then down and then up. And now we can connect these two. Now we need to separate the flag in three parts. So we're going to do the first one, one, and then we're going to go two. The last thing we're going to do is the hat. So we already have this line marking here, the hat, but we're going to go out a little bit more. So for this side, I'm going to go with like a letter C, but this letter C is very swish. Now from this letter C, I'm going to go up. And from this side, I'm just going to do a little bit of a line, just like this. And then we do the line up. Now let's do a little bit of a curve to the top and a curve. And we join these two with another one. In the middle, we're going to put like two lines to mark where the hat has this kind of like a ribbon. And on the top, we're just going to do one and two curves. The very last thing, we're gonna just put uh, two more details, the ears and the whiskers. So for the ears, I'm just gonna go with a C shape in here and a C shape in here. And we're gonna put a little line inside to make it look more like an ear. And the whiskers are gonna come from this part of the mouth. So we're gonna do one, two, three. And in the other side, the same thing. One, two, three. And there, that's it. We finished this Canadian beaver. And now my favorite part is coming. Let's color. Okay, little artists, we are done. This is how my beaver turned out. I add some sh uh, shadow here underneath the eyes just to give it a little bit more of like a sense of mouth. I just pass the marker one more time once that the first uh, layer is dry. The same thing here, you can see this shadow. It's just the same color. I just wait for the marker to dry and I go one more time on the areas I wanna put some uh, shade. Here on the flag, I just add a little bit of the maple leaf. I also add here a little bit of brown to add some shade and make the hat look like it's uh, sinking in here. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss lessons step by step like this one. See you next time.